everybody, welcome. Welcome to Storytime in Sea Club. Today is, well, it's a special day. Two good reasons. We have Molly as our assistant. Would you come join us, dear Molly? Excellent, thank you, Molly. And it's also Flag Day. So we have our uh, Flag Day uh, display. Sure, Uncle Sam and the candles. And I have to thank Molly. This was her pigeon that she brought uh, for us to use in the story. And um, the name of the story is Fly High, Fly Low. And again, I'm going to warn you, as I've done in the past, there will be a sad part, but it will have a very Exactly. All right, so let's get started. The story takes place in the beautiful city of San Francisco. Uh, it was, had a, tall buildings and tall bridges. It, was a, it is a beautiful city. And on top of one of the buildings, over there, way over there, stood an electric light sign with a huge B and there lived a pigeon. There he is, there's the bee. Before choosing to make his home there, oh, this proud gray pigeon had lived many, many places, but he really liked the lower loop of the letter B. Why? No one knew. During the day, the wide, wide worlds would keep the wind away, and at night, the bright lights kept him nice and warm and cozy. The pigeons who roosted along the ledges of the building across the street thought he was a pretty strange pigeon. He was so particular about where he lived. He's very choosy, they said. The only pigeon that never made fun of him was a beautiful white feathered dove pigeon. She felt that he must have a very good reason for living and the letter B. Not Every morning, when the sun would come up, the two would meet midair, and they would swerve and they would swoop over the park. And Mr. Lee was a man who was so kind. Every day he would throw out crumbs from a large paper sack that he had. And he would always say, good morning, good morning. And the birds in the city all loved Mr. Uh, Hi Lee too, because he was their best friend. He'd share crumbs and crackers with them. And sometimes he would go to the bakery and he would have day old stale cake he would give to them. Well, the pigeons would always circle around Mr. Lee. Oh, and they would say, thank you. Well, one day they were the, um, our pigeons uh, let's see, we'll call them, let's see, we'll call them, how about Graham and Audrey? Mm -hmm. Yes, and Graham and Audrey, the two pigeons, were flying around, and they decided that they would both live in the letter B. Yes, 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 up there. And shortly after, guess what? There were two eggs two pigeon eggs right there in the letter B. Oh, they were going to be Graham and Audrey's babies. How exciting. Oh, well, all of a sudden, out of the blue, out of the blue, Audrey felt the B, the letter B start to shake. Graham had flown away looking for some food, so he wasn't there. Oh no, what could it be? An earthquake? No. Oh no, they were taking down the sign and the letter B was being removed. And where was it going? Nobody knew. Oh, this was so upsetting. And, and what about Graham? When he came back, he wouldn't be able to find Audrey or the eggs. Oh no. Oh, well, these are the people that are taking down the letter B. And one of the men said, this is too nice a letter to throw away. 
right? I know a bakery that starts with the letter B. And sure enough, we could bring it there. Oh, I don't know. Is this going to work? Well, Audrey followed, followed them, staying with the letter B. But Graham, oh no, he circled and circled and circled and he couldn't find them. He couldn't find Audrey and he couldn't find the letter B or the two eggs. He flew and he flew and the rains came. Oh, he was so exhausted. Oh, finally, he stopped at a park and kind hands reached down and picked him up, picked him up, yes. And guess who it was? Mm. Oh, it was Mr. Hiley. Oh, he said, don't worry, don't worry, let me help you. And he took him and he put him, I think he put him in that bag. And he said, I'm going to get you something good to eat. I'll go to a bakery. Yes, he went to the bakery where we're going to get you good food. And when they got to the bakery, they were just putting up, you guessed it, the letter B. And who was inside the letter B? Yes, it was Audrey. And let's see, let's see the eggs. Oh, there they are. Graham was so excited. He flew right over to why, Audrey. Why, why, why is she so sad? Well, she doesn't know yet. She didn't see that he was coming. And sure enough, sure enough, he's there. Oh, and out came the two little birds, little tiny beaks. Everybody was so excited. Everybody was so happy that the two pigeons, that Graham and Audrey, were back together. And sure enough, the little, little tiny little pigeons are just, oh, they're very hungry. So who had to go get them some food? Audrey, yes. No, 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 oh. no, no, Graham, Graham. Graham had to go get them. Huh? Oh, there he is, you're right, you're right, you're right. He ran off and he got some crumbs and he brought them back. And guess what? They named the babies. One they named Lila, and the other they named Kasha. Yes, Lila and Kasha are the babies. And they lived happily ever after in the letter B. Wow, what a great story. It was so scary for a minute, it but was, it all worked out. It was so sad. It's so sad, but it worked out perfectly. What a great story. All right. We have a great birthday today. We have Justin's birthday. Here we go. We're going to sing to our Justin. Now, the cake was evenly divided yesterday. 10-10. 10-10, exactly. Very good. So let me count today. Vanilla, always jo Joseph, Scarlett, Rafa, James, Lily, Emily, and Nicholas. Chocolate, Ben and B, Bevy, Henry, Graham, Audrey, and Lila, Molly, Alice, and Riley. Whoa, let me count the chocolate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten again. Ten again for chocolate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven for vanilla. So what is it going to look like? More chocolate. Pick, fix that chocolate. Yes. So hopefully... Hopefully, Justin likes chocolate because that's what he's getting, a chocolate cake. Okay, are you ready to sing to Justin? We certainly are. I'm going to hold it up, okay? Hold, hold it so that everybody can see. Oh, no, we lost some of the, the cake. Get it together there, right? Right. Perfect. Okay, hold it up. Are we ready now? Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Justin. Happy birthday to you. Very good. Happy birthday, dear Justin. And look at our clue from Oberon. Mm -hmm. And think about what tomorrow's story will be. Okay, everybody. Thank you, cameraman Dan. Thank you, Molly. 
Thank you, Oberon. Thank you out there, everyone. And remember, I love you all very, very much. It's, it's so chocolate.